Hi. Now, we're given this result then that the sum r equals 1 to n of r plus 2 times r plus 3 equals a third n times n squared plus 9n plus 26. And it says, hence show that the sum of r going from n plus 1 to 3n of r plus 2 times r plus 3 is equal to 2 thirds n times a n squared plus b n plus c, where a, b and c are integers to be found for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget to fast forward if you just want to see the final answers. Otherwise, I'm going to take you slowly through the work solution. So for this one, we just copy down the question first of all. We're given the sum of r going from n plus 1 to 3n of r plus 2 multiplied by r plus 3. So to do this, what I'd want to do is, first of all, see how this links to what we've got up here. And when you get questions like this, when they don't start at 1, what we do is we start at 1. Okay, so we start summing this series. Okay, R going from 1 to 3n. And we'll just put R plus 2 r times r plus 3 and then we would subtract the same series only this time r going from 1 to just n okay sigma of this series going from r equals 1 to n let's just put that down again r plus 2 times r plus 3 so for this first one here, all I've got to do then is replace the n in here with 3n. So we're going to have one third then, instead of that n there, it will be 3n. I'll open up a square bracket here, and then it's going to be n squared there, but it's now 3n in place of that, all squared. Then plus 9 times what would be 3n now and then plus the 26. Finish off the square bracket there. And then for this one, well, we've got that result up here. It's just 1 third then n multiplied by n squared plus 9n plus 26. Now, I can see that what we've got to prove here has a 2 thirds n out the front. And it's very tempting to cancel these two threes here. I could do if I wanted to, but I can see that I've got a third n there and a third the n there if I don't cancel that three. So I'm going to take a third n out the front, okay? So we've got a third n, and then that would mean that I just need to times all my values in here, these three terms, with just the three. So we've got 9n squared here times the 3 is going to give me 27n squared. Here we've got 27n times it with the 3 and I've got 81n. And then 26 times the 3 gives me 78, so plus 78 there. And then for this term here, I've got a third n out the front. I just need to multiply each of these terms with the minus 1. So that's going to give me minus n squared, minus 9n, minus 26. And I'll close that bracket off. Cleaning the inside of the bracket up, we've got 27n squared minus n squared, so that's 26n squared. 81n minus 9n, that's going to be 72n, so 72n. And then We've got 78 minus the 26, that's plus 52. Okay, And I can now see that I could pull 2 out, because it's a common factor across those three terms. Pull a 2 out, we get 2 thirds n, 2 thirds n, and then in the bracket, 
we're going to have half of these numbers. So it's going to be 13n squared plus 36n plus 26. And this is identical then to what we had to show. It's identical then to 2 thirds n a n squared plus b n plus c. And we had to state the values of a, b, and c. They had to be integers. So we'll just put here where a equals 13, b equals 36, and we've got c equaling 26. All right?